Velvet ants are fuzzy, often red insects that look like ants, but don't be fooled. These insects aren't ants, they're actually a type of wasp. These wasps are known to prey on other pollinating insects, and they have a painful sting. It's normal to have a few of these insects around, but a full-blown infestation can pose a problem to your plants and your own personal safety. So in this video, we'll show you how to identify and control velvet ants on your property. To shop for the products featured in this video and to learn more about velvet ants, click the icon in the top right of the screen or click the link in the description below. The first thing you should do in any pest control plan is identify what exactly you're dealing with. Careless identification can lead to wrong treatment methods, costing you time and money. Also known as cow killer ants, velvet ants are reddish or orangish and black in body color and may often have black, white, silver, or golden body pattern markings. These ant-like insects grow to be about three quarters of an inch in length. Velvet ants are covered in numerous hairs, lending to their fuzzy appearance. While male velvet ants have the wings you'd expect from any wasp, female velvet ants do not have wings. Inspection is the next phase of any good pest control plan. Once you know what your pests look like, check around your property to confirm their presence or find hotspots of activity. Velvet ants are most common from July to September. These insects live in open, sunny areas like lawns, gardens, the non-shaded edges of forests, and pastures within urban and agricultural areas. Female velvet ants are often seen crawling on the soil, and male velvet ants can be found among foliage and flowers. They prefer sites that are abundant with their preferred food sources and sandy soil. Adult velvet ants feed on nectar from flowers and weeds. When female velvet ants lay eggs, they lay their own eggs within the burrows of other wasps or bees on top of the eggs of the other insects. When the egg hatches, the velvet ant larva will feed on the egg, larva, or pupa of the competing insect until it fully develops within several days. When inspecting your property, be on the lookout for the adult velvet ants themselves and the burrows of ground-dwelling bees and wasps. After identifying your pest and inspecting for activity on your property, it's time to start treatment. Before starting any treatment, be sure to wear your personal protective equipment or PPE. And remember to keep all people and pets off the treated areas until dry. To get rid of velvet ants on your property, you'll need to eliminate larva feeding sites and treat ornamental plants to deter adults from feeding on plant nectar. First, treat the ornamentals on your property with a residual insecticide like Supreme IT. Supreme IT is a liquid insecticide concentrate made with bifenthrin, so it's labeled to control a wide variety of insects. When applied, it leaves a residual effect that will control treated areas for up to 90 days. To treat for wasps, mix the labeled rate of 0.25 to 0.5 fluid ounces of product into one gallon of water to treat over 1,000 square feet. Apply your solution over ornamentals and shrubbery, being sure to treat both the top and the bottom of any leaves. Allow the product to dry completely before allowing people or pets to re-enter the area. Pests that make contact with the spray or its residual will have their nervous systems impacted and will die within several hours. After you've sprayed ornamental plants, treat any burrows you've found with a dry insecticidal dust like defense dust. This product is made with delta methrin, is moisture resistant, and provides long-term control. With a handheld duster, apply this product to the entrances of ground wasp nests. Check back after two days and reapply if the nest is still active. Insects that make contact with the dust will die in several hours. Once you've applied residual treatments, you can treat individual velvet ants on site with Striker, Wasp, and Hornet Killer. This product is a prolethrin aerosol insecticide that can reach targets up to 20 feet away. We recommend you stand 6 to 15 feet away from the target and spray at an angle to avoid any product drift. Wasps that make contact with the spray will be knocked down immediately and will die within several hours. Prevention is essential to keeping pests in check. Even after you've applied pesticides, the best way to stop velvet ant activity is to make sure it can't happen. To keep ground wasps, bees, and velvet ants from nesting on your property, start with regular lawn maintenance. Prune away overgrown foliage, regularly mow your lawn, and pick up plant debris to control your lawn's moisture retention and make your property less conducive to pest activity. Next, keep up with regular applications of your residual insecticides. Supreme IT will last for 90 days, so make treatments every three months for year-round control. Defense Dust and Striker in this application may be used on an as-needed basis. 
With these professional products and tips from Solutions Pest and Lawn, you can stop velvet ants from infesting your property, and we offer fast, free shipping to help you get control quickly. Visit our website to get your products today. If you like this how-to guide, please share. And if you're new to our channel, subscribe for more how-to and product videos, and contact us for more tips, tricks, and DIY pest solutions.